Okay. Now, earlier, I, you know, called AT&T and went through all that crap with them, and then, you know, it was not cool. So, this is what happened. Um, I ended up going to the radio shack down the street from the house, right? And I was in there looking at phones, because I went to the cheapest places, and, you know, they had nice phones, and the phones I wanted, you know, little GPS on them, phones I wanted. Uh, it was like, shit, 250, 300 bucks, 400 dollars for the phone. They, uh, they have this one place where you buy the phone, and then the service is unlimited everything for like $45 a month. But there's a problem with that. You have to pay full price for the phone. Once you pay full price for the phone, no matter what you get to internet, you know, whatever, the shit is tight, but it's total everything. People say the service sucks, but listen, let me tell you what. I went there. And that didn't work. So I said, uh, I went to the radio shack. And you know, I was asking questions. And then out of the blue, I said, you know, how much would it cost for me to reestablish a line from uh, AT&T? And the guy, you know, to get all of my information and everything. And he looked it up. And he told me I would have to put down an $800 deposit to reestablish a phone line with AT&T. Now, um, I finally got a hold of somebody from AT&T on the phone after this guy tells me the $800 thing because that outraged me. And I called back and I called my I went straight home after the guy said I had to put an $800 deposit down to reestablish a phone service with AT&T or reestablish any services with AT&T, so now I can't even go get the, the little cable and the internet I wanted to get from AT&T, but, you know, fine, big whoop, no problem, so, they said I need to put an $800 deposit down, so I went home, you know, after getting that information from the, the kid at Radio Shack, and I get on the phone and I told the lady, I'm trying to pay you guys $358 today. And you guys are telling me you can't take it. So this lady did some stuff. She gets on the computer or whatever she says. She says, we will accept your money. They will accept my $358.14. They will accept it. And I'm like, well, if you accept my money, will I have a service? No. I will not have service. And I'm like, would I have to give you guys $800 after I paid you? She said, yeah. So after I paid the $300 to clear myself, I still would have had to give them an $800 deposit to start up a new service. AT&T would not accept my money. And then when they said they would accept my money, here's the kicker. They would accept my money, but I still owe the, um, the collection agency too. So if I would have paid them their money, then I would still owe the collection agency also. See what I'm saying? Fees that the collection agency would have charged me. Even if I would have paid them and they accepted the money and not gave me a service, I still would owe the collection agency. And then, if I want a service, I still got to give them an $800 deposit. That was tremendous. So, I went across town after getting off the phone to a different radio shack and asked a young brother to hook me up. I got one of these for me, one for my son. Um, got the extra four gig chip to go in it. Um, two phones lousy two year contract $59 a month um, it's only 700 minutes to share between me and my son I swear I won't talk as much as I used to um, if he messes up in any way shape or form I have two phones 
these are the new ones and this is the T-Mobile because nobody else I mean everything else was like crappy T-Mobile highlight the t-mobile highlight it's a pretty good phone i know it's dark right now you guys can't see much but uh, yeah. so, I'm plug this off, plug up. i use the handle off my son's wii thing so we can know which phone is which i put the little thing on mine i don't want to lose it's all touch screen yeah it's pretty Interesting phone. So look, I can touch it, but it ain't doing nothing because I'm touching it right now. But it's, it's all touch screen. It's pretty neat. It's not an iPhone. I tried to buy an iPhone for my little brother so I can give it to my wife because her iPhone broken. Touchy, touchy. I can see already see myself on YouTube on this, but um, I don't even know how to. To type in the stuff to, to get it on there. I'm going to use the internet free for the 30 days. Um, you know, whatever. I'm back. I'm going to start giving the number out to those who had before. So, um, that's the kicker part about my phone number, though. Is my old phone number was 9190, and this one is 0007. So, that right there is pretty cool. Triple O seven. That's some good shit there. Um, other than that, AT and T they did do good by me, but in the end, when I tried to give them their money, it's like, come on, man. This is it's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. You're not giving me no brand new phone for eleven hundred dollars. I mean, come on, you know, eight hundred dollar deposit. On top of that, paying them three hundred and fifty dollars, and then whatever fees that the collection agency that I'm not paying, I'd have to pay them their fees, and um, it's pitiful. But other than that, I want to thank AT and T one more time for helping me in time of need. And I can understand from a business perspective how you got to get your monies, but come on. Somebody's offering to give you 300 bucks, 350 bucks cash paid. I'm trying to pay the bill off and you say no. Then you say, yeah, but then I won't have a phone service with you guys unless I give you an $800 deposit. And now, I now. Now backing T-Mobile. I now sponsor T-Mobile. T-Mobile is now my team. T stands for team. Mobile stands for mobile. Okay, so um, other than that, I'm gonna give my son the number first, and then we're gonna do a thing from there. Um, <laughs> it's about to go down. Um. I almost bought a truck today. I'm glad I didn't. Because, you know, people don't have money to throw around. I do feel bad that I didn't pay off AT&T. But to tell me, after I paid them, I'd still owe the agency some money, that made no sense to me. When you sell somebody's debt is one thing. But when you sell somebody's debt and they pay you and you still owe somebody... That's why my bank account was raided a long time ago. And I, after the lady told me that, I'm like, oh, okay, this is what happened. But, um, it is 10.37. I had a pretty long day today. I actually went phone shopping, so. <sighs> I think my wife will be back tomorrow. Thank you for your time listening to me unwind. I'll be looking buff sometime. But I gotta go. Thank you. You've been too. Good night.